Today we're going to do a Sapato Vecio Veracino shave uh, in its entirety uh, and what we're going to be using today. Uh, a couple years ago, um, I think it was when the uh, 4.3 version of Felsi Aromatica came out. They came out with these aluminum tins and I think they did this with Dolomiti and a few others. So that's what we're going to be shaving with today is the Beta 4.3 in the aluminum lid edition uh, tin. For Felsi Aromatica, we'll be using a Artisan 2.0 brush from Sapo Ficio Verasino in uh, faux ivory, uh, already preloaded. And then for our razor, we're going to do a straight razor shave today, but I haven't done one in a little bit, a little bit rather. And we're going to be using the Leonardo da Vinci from uh, Sapo Ficio Verasino. It is actually manufactured by Ulrich de Corat, and this is, I don't know if you can see it, this is a full belly hollow um, 6 eighths. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. The Fougeres, as they say, have, have been probably one of the most widely done uh, fragrances out there. You know, very green, um, usually consisting of uh, pine and or fern, uh, mostly fern. Uh, along with lavender and so forth. And this is uh, Felsi's take on it. This is a little bit sharper, I think, than, uh, let's see, the old standard, which is uh, Penhaligon's English Fern. It's not quite as soft and creamy. It's more in your face, but it's wonderful. To me, it's a little bit of a toss up. Uh, English Fern has always been my favorite as far as the scent profile, but as far as the performance of the soap and the aftershave, um, this we, I think, takes it hands down from a skin property standpoint. Not necessarily from a, from a fragrance standpoint, but from just the skin properties. And of course the soap, it just feels good on your face no matter what. ready to go. Hope everybody's doing well. I want to wish everybody a very happy holiday if you're in the U.S. for Labor Day on Monday. Traditionally the last big holiday before fall hits, but where I live, summer lasts well into almost November, December. Okay, here we go. And it should be noted that uh, the straw or the uh, razor has been honed 30 and 60 on a Tony Miller strop. Probably could have made the ladder just a little bit thinner.
I know straight shaves are a little bit boring to watch because you can't say a whole hell of a lot while you're doing it. Unless you want to train, right? But the soap lingers. As far as the fragrance, it's just a wonderful, almost hypnotic type of fragrance. It's just, it's just wonderful. Uh, equally as good to wear in the, uh, in the summer or the fall because of that spicy peppery note in it. I would say it's probably, well, 70th will always be my favorite fragrance from Sepulveda Verasino because it's just, I love the Italian Colonia scents. And um, it's a tough one, Apuntia, and this are about even as far as and as far as the fragrance in my opinion. But yet Felsia Aromatica does not get, for lack of a better term, the press that uh Opuntia or Kubebe or even the new Desert Vetiver gets. It kind of just sits in the background, even though it's one of the oldest fragrances that they've had. It's just been around. But I think what happens is fougeres get lost in the ether because there's so many. And everybody just looks at it and says, another Fougere, uh, where it's one of, uh, I think, their staples. But that's the thing. With SV, there are so many good scent profiles that it's hard. Because I think the last time I checked from a poll standpoint, just my own... type of poll that uh, Apuntia definitely seemed to be uh, leading the pack as far as uh, favorites, even over 70th. And again, that may be because there's a lot of Italian Colonia scents out there. But obviously, if you're going to pick an Italian Colonia scent, you know, the old grandfather, Aqua de Parma. is up there but now that SV has a Eau de Parfum in the 70th I would argue that it's better They may not have the product depth, you know, uh, with all the different Aqua de Parmas that, that they come up with. And I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better hard milled uh, soap. Of course, in my opinion, now the disclaimer, uh, I am a brand ambassador for Sepulfigio Verasino, so. But I've used their products long before they became uh, on the radar.
nor am I compensated for being an ambassador. But make sure you come over to the uh, Shaving Cadre, that's www.theshavingcadre.com, and specifically in speaking about Sapita Cachillo Maracino, well, our new, uh, one of the, uh, the new U.S. distributor reps, uh, Antonio Pavan, or Pavani, I'm not sure exactly how he pronounces it, uh, is doing a lot of great things for TSC members. So if there's ever a time to join the TSC, now is it. If you want to partake in a lot of SV stuff. They've always had um, Ura Parfum and uh, their facial products as far as samples. But there was never a good way to do soap samples. Uh, in speaking with uh, Antonio, the soap sample part of things is probably going to be handled uh, from the ambassador standpoint. So very soon, I cannot tell you when, we will be starting to do soap samples for Sepeda Ficio Veracino. And there will be a, probably a small shipping charge, uh, but no charge for the product itself because it'll be small samples. But we're still working on all the logistics on that. And we will let you know either here or on the shavingcadre.com. Okay, last pass. This is my, I think my third full bellied hollow razor and uh, they still intimidate me because you've got that really thin, almost microscopic point and then it swells back out again. But this razor never fails to give just a tremendous shave. The Fool's Pass, though, is always one of those bare knuckle things. This one slip in your noseless. All right, let's see how we did overall. A little bit of cleanup, which I always have right in the nickel area. No matter what I do, I have to attack it from multiple areas. using some fairly unconventional methods because most people would think I'm nuts for doing a flat blade buffing of my neck. And what I mean by flat blade is I actually bring <laughs> the razor this way. And then come up in a scooping action the second way. Now that has not been without uh, its uh, experimental uh, train wrecks 
and for those of you that have been following me for a while, have uh, been fortunate or unfortunate enough to see the blood flow. Okay, as I said, it's been well, probably two weeks, maybe, since I've done a straight shave. So, from a pressure standpoint, let's see how we did. Absolutely nothing. Even down in the neck area where I expected to have a little bit of tingle, nothing. I mean, no more than one of my most aggressive DEs. So that's a good thing. And somebody did mention on my channel about the journey of straight razor shaving. Don't rush it. Um, on this on this channel, uh, back in the archives, there is a, a six a six video uh, educational thing on straight razor shaving, and you know the magic number always seems to be uh, 100. That's going to be up to you, but don't rush it. Take the time, do it right, and you'll find that your straight razor shaving career will be much more enjoyable. And as always, we're going to be using the Theris Cucumber. Waiting for that to dry, we will uh, clean out our brush. Once again, uh, come check us out at theshavingcadre.com. That's www.theshavingcadre.com. Great bunch of gentlemen. No heavy moderation. Um, we just, you know, we want people to act like gentlemen. And very much self-policing. We're a family. And uh, check us out. You'll know pretty quick if it's the right uh, form for you, and so forth. Okay, we're gonna be using the Felsi Aromatica Aftershave. Now, SV's aftershaves are probably the most unique of any. It's not quite a milk, it's not quite a balm, it's not quite a, a standard aftershave. It's, it's thicker than that, and you only need a few drops, if you can see that, and it's thick, it's, it's got some viscosity to it, you do get a little bit of an alcohol hit, but the alcohol hit is due to natural plant extract alcohol, which is really nice. It's very, very good for your skin. Uh, the fragrances on the uh, aftershaves are a little bit light, but that's on purpose. You know, um, there is not a Felsi Aromatica uh, EDP yet, but I'm sure uh, Marco and Alessandro and Antonio are all working on uh, doing the same. There's a lot of really neat ex um, Surprises coming up for Sapatificio Veracino, and uh, we hope that you'll come along. That's my shave for today, folks. Thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us at Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We want to wish you, your families, and everybody within your circle or your cadre, I see what I did there, uh, a very happy uh, Labor Day holiday, and please be safe. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.